What is up all you mentees? This is the Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition. And today, join me as I take an advanced look at the Matter Baron's limited edition box set from Humanoids. So, please stay tuned. Now, before we get started, I'd like to thank the kind folks at Humanoids for sending us an advanced copy of this new box set. I've got the Incal right here. This is Jodorowsky's Incal. And the box sets, as you can probably tell, look to be the same dimensions. This was the limited edition box set that came out last year uh, from Humanoids. And then this is the Meta Barons for this year. Uh, the retail price on this particular box set is $149.99. It is a slip case, so let's check it out. So right here you have the image of the Meta Baron, the character that first appeared in Incal. And then the images on the front, the side right there, Definitive Edition, Humanoids, and then the back. And there's two books in here. Let's let's get them out. Okay, so you have Volume 1 and Volume 2 with a small little image from the artist right there, Juan Jimenez. Uh, you have Jodorowsky's name and Jimenez's last name up at the top, and the Meta Barons. Let's look at it. Here are the two volumes compared to the size of the Incal. This is, again, the limited edition that came in the slip case. It came out last year. There was only one book in there. And here they are compared to the size of the Ultimate Edition of the Meta Barons that came out a couple of years ago that contained all of this. So pretty much the entire story is contained in this one book, but as you can tell, there is a significant size difference. Uh, these are the original sizes that were originally printed and with the original color. Much like the case of the InCal Limited Edition last year, um, the slip case is limited to 1500 copies now let's look at volume one and then volume two and talk a little bit about what they are okay so let's get this first book opened uh, as you could probably tell the spines are very similar with the exception of where it says part one and part two and as i mentioned these are 1500 uh, limited edition copies. However, uh, there looks like there were 25 created for the non-retail copies and they're marked by Roman numerals. So like this, for example, but so instead of this number right here, which is a Roman numeral number, you'll see a standard number like one out of 1500 or two out of 1500. These were just made uh, for non-retail copies. So here are the credits right here. Alejandro Jorowski, who is the writer of the book. He is a Chilean creator. And then Juan Jimenez, who was in Argentina or is an Argentinian artist. So it kicks off with Othon. Now, uh, I want to talk just a little bit about what this is and because this is mainly an overview of the books. So the Meta Baron was a character that first appeared in uh, the early 80s in the Incal series written by Jodorowsky. So he was co-created by Mobius and Jodorowsky. And this book right here serves as a prequel and follow up to that uh, appearance because what this does is it talks about the lineage of the Meta Baron. So when he first appeared in the Incal, he was a bounty hunter. He was pretty much the most amazing badass warrior there was. And this book, these actually the, these eight uh, chapters right here serve as how it all comes to be, what the legacy of a Meta Baron is, and how it go, uh, goes back to family uh, lineage. Because this goes back to like his great grandfather, the character that first appeared in Incal. It talks about his great grandfather, moves on to his grandfather, grandmother, then uh, the father and mother, and then of course the final Meta Baron. And that's kind of a really, really short synopsis. But it is so much more than that. I, want, I just want you all to fall in love with this beautiful artwork by Juan Jimenez, who is an amazing creator. Uh, so pretty much the idea for the Meta Barons, uh, I, guess, I guess, was kind of originally formed in uh, Frank Herbert's Dune. Um, some of you all may or may not know, but Jodorowsky was originally going to do the Dune movie like in the late 70s and through heartbreak and everything that movie was scrapped and they made something else completely different so he took a lot of those ideas and put it not just in ink how but mainly in here uh, so it is so cool to read this because it is such a space opera but it is written in the style of like a greek tragedy it is so epic um i wish i could describe in words how good this is 
and what it brings back just reading this because the character first appeared in the 80s. In 1992 is when the very first book, uh, Othos, I believe it's what it was called. Othon. That's right, Othon. So the first book is called Othon. And there are a total of eight books between these two hardcovers. And that tells the entire uh, story of the Meta Baron. Sorry, I have to skip some pages there. Otherwise, this is not safe for work. And I'll talk about that here when I look at volume two. Uh, so it talks about Othon, who is the great grandfather. That was published in 1992. So to give you an idea, this story spanned within a decade. Because the final story, the uh, Nameless, the last of the Meta Barons, that came out in 2003. So within a decade's time, or over a decade, they were able to tell the complete lineage of this one character. Now, there have been follow-ups and stuff afterwards, or prequels, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's look at the back for extras of this volume one. And it does contain the short story, The Crest of the Kastaka, as well. Here are some original French covers of the different books. And some uh, original artwork from the uh, American releases, too, because Humanoids has released this in not only trade paperback format and hardcover formats, but also in single issue comic book formats. I think there were a total of 17 issues. So I uh, absolutely love this cover, by the way, and I'm so glad they used it in the slipcase. And let's look. I didn't show all of it, but to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at. Now, let's look at volume two. So here is part two up at the top. So this is the second volume. Meta Barons, or Meta Barons is what, what I like to call it. Andrew Jodorowsky. And by the way, let's point out some of the series editors here because they are the people that brought this book together right here. So it starts off with Steelhead, which I guess a little bit of a spoiler, this is the story of his grandfather. And this one kicked off in 1996. So now let's talk about the artwork and what this is about because it, it's really difficult to do this book justice because as you can probably tell there are some really violent scenes in here and I know I don't do reviews of books when I talk about overviews but I just can't help myself but talk about it this storyline blew me away I read it originally when they were coming out in uh, hardcovers I think there were a total four and then I got the ultimate edition so I mean it took me a while I wish I was there from the beginning I wish I could have been uh, there from the very beginning to talk about, uh, to experience this for the first time along with everybody else. Um, I, and I don't think it would have been as popular if it wasn't for Warren Ellis. Like, I think Warren Ellis talked about how this is his definitive favorite comic of all time. And he's not wrong. It is a beautiful, brutal take on a space opera. And it is as epic as you could probably tell from the wonderful artwork as epic gets and this is the definitive edition so these are the way the pages were originally collected in this big oversized format these are the original colors that are beautiful and some of you that have probably never experienced european comics and have read heavy metal a lot of the great stories that were collected in that magazine uh, were previously collected in europe somewhere so these were originally published in french so I will say that if you're not used to European comics and the way the translations are, some of the things are lost in translation, but not very much. I mean, you get it. You get a lot of the story, mainly because of the visuals and how beautiful they are. I don't want to flip too much through this ending because it is every crazy idea that he puts in these books is so unique. And there's just about one in every other page. It's a unique take on these classic stories that I talked about that we're all familiar with, like family, sacrifice, lust, violence, anger issues, and of course survival. But um, as I said, I can't do the book justice. I've hoped the visuals help you understand why a lot of people love these books. Each one of the hardcovers, by the way, comes with its own little ribbon, and you all know how I feel about that. I love those ribbons. This box set is due out on January 29th at the direct market so you're talking comic book stores and places like cheapgraphicnovels.com and then a few weeks later at places like amazon this book also collects this short story right here the ink house dream but i can't talk about that because it will spoil some things so let's look at the extras here like the covers and then some promotional artwork 
there's been a lot of sci-fi movies and science fiction novels that have borrowed heavily from this. And here is your bookend, very similar to the uh, the pages in the first book. Um, it's the bookend is gray pages. Now, as far as the quality of the paper, it is this. Making sure I don't turn into any sex or nudity there. Uh, it is this really thick matte paper. Uh, it's a little thicker. I don't know if you're all familiar with the deluxe uh, Berserk hardcover, but it's thicker than that. And it makes this artwork, the colors just really stand out. And I'm sure you could probably tell as I was flipping through the very first volume, it is sewn binding and here is that wonderful eye. Now there's a couple of things I need to clarify before I end the video because I know I'll be asked in the comments down below. And one of them is, does this contain anything else? Does it contain Second Session or Weapons of the Matter Barons? And I will say that this just contains the story by Jodorowsky and Jimenez. It's the original eight volumes put into two hardcovers that fit into that slipcase. That is it. There is no Kastaka. There's no Weapons of the Meta Barons or Meta Barons Second Session. So just to clarify. And then the other question that I know I'll be asked is who is the intended audience for this? Like, because as you can probably tell, there um, there's definitely sex, there's definitely violence in here. It's like I said, brutal, but it is rated mature. So keep that in mind. The box set is rated mature, but it is an amazing story that I hope you don't miss out on. And of course, the other big question that I'm sure I'm going to be asked is, do I need to read the in-cal before I read this? You absolutely do not have to. That is not necessary reading. This stands on its own. As a matter of fact, I think I read this before I read the complete in-cal. So there you have it. You can read this and then not that it adds or takes away anything to the in-cal because this really is a story that stands on its own. That's just my opinion. Each one of the hardcovers within the slipcase is right at around 288 pages, give or take a few. And you can purchase these from CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself in packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. Cheap Graphic Novels Black Friday sale is continuing all through December, so there's still time to save up to 95% off thousands of books. Additional books will be added throughout the month, so be sure to check back often and stay tuned to CGN on social media to be the first to know when the new books have been added to the sale. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was my overview of the Meta Baron's Definitive Edition Limited Edition box set. As I mentioned, this box set comes out on January 29th of 2020, and it is a strictly limited numbered edition of 1,500 copies worldwide, so keep that in mind. Please let me know in the comments down below if you plan on picking this box set up, if you already own the, I think they've released this box set before in the past, if you already own that, or if you already have the Ultimate Edition and don't want to upgrade. Again, I'd love to know those comments down below. Please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button. We can be found on Patreon. We are also on Redbubble. And all that information is in the description down below. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you for watching. And remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint.